Top Biz. Must have heard this word. It's a very common word these days. It simply means the transmission of the information by various types of technologies over the wire, radio, optical, other electromagnetic systems. It all started in the 1830s with the invention of the telegraph, the first gadget used for telecommunication. And over a period of time, we have seen enough inventions and developments in this particular industry. If we specifically talk about our country, it was the year 2000 when we started noticing mobile phones in people's hand. It's a very long journey from wired telephones to smartphones. This industry has gone through so many revolutions and evolutions simultaneously, right? But have you ever thought about which government body looks after the telecommunication industry and sets standards for it or which certification is required by them? Hello everyone, I am Yash Saxena and in this video we will be talking about TEC certification. TEC stands for Telecommunication Engineering Center. TEC is the responsible Indian authority when it comes to certification for telecommunication products. Serves the purpose to assist the Department of Telecommunication known as DOT, established by the Government of India. The key objective of TEC is to establish and execute numerous regulations and standards to ensure that the new emerging and continuously changing technologies can be used while maintaining the safety and security. The issuance TEC certification procedure can take up to 30 days from the date of application. This duration varies based on the category of the product and the requirements of the test. The TEC has been authorized by four types of tests. These are type approval, interface approvals, certification of approvals and technology approvals. These four voluntary certifications are done based on the product and its interface. It is required for all products designed as telecom equipment to undergo testing and get the appropriate certification before being sold, imported or used anywhere in India according to the Indian Telegraph Rule 2017. So, what are the eligibility criteria for TEC certification? Let's discuss about it. The TEC certificate is authorized to be issued by Telecommunication Engineering Center in accordance with satisfactory results of the test reports. The following are the requirements that must be met to be eligible for mandatory testing and certification of telecom equipment, often known as MTCTE. First is an authorized signatory provided by the authorized Indian company. For foreign OEMs, that is original equipment manufacturers, they need to appoint an Indian authorized company which will then act as a representative for the MTCTE certification process. MOU between the foreign OEM and the Indian representative company, if applicable. For Indian producers, they need to provide all the required legal documents that provides the proof of this registration. The approved and valid test reports were conducted by an Indian recognized lab as per the approval of TEC. The branding details and the trademark details of the product and the registration details of the company are also required. To get this certificate, the candidate must submit the mandatory documents with his application for the hassle-free processing of their forms and getting the certificate smoothly. The following documents have been implemented mandatory for the submission of the application process of MTCTE. All necessary documents that provides proof of the company registration, letter of authorization that is to be issued by the company granting authorization commencement of MTCTE work requirements. In the case of foreign companies, a letter of authorization is to be issued by the authorized Indian representative along with the Indian OEM granting authorization commencement of MTCTE work requirements. The director of the company or the company secretary needs to send a signed copy of the co company's articles of association, also known as AOA. The director of the company or the company's secretary needs to send a signed copy of the company's memorandum of association, also known as MOA, the latest report on the company's shareholding structure that mentions the details of the shareholders and the members of the board, memorandum of understanding, also known as the MOU, between the foreign OEM and the authorized Indian representative, granting permission of sale and support of the telecom product in India. Proof of granting authorization to the authorized Indian representative to discharge MTCTE work requirements. 
one question must be coming in your mind. We have covered what is this certification, why it is important and what are the eligibility criteria and the important documents required. But what about the most important part, the application procedure? The application process for TEC certificate can be done online as well as offline. The application needs to be submitted along with all the relevant documents that cannot be changed once submitted. TEC conducts the evaluation of the documents in full scrutiny. If any error in the document is found, it is immediately communicated to the applicant. Upon rectification of the errors, the applicant's registration is deemed valid and only then can applicants submit the required applications for product testing and TEC certification. For the product to be certified, the applicant needs to submit the variant details and all the information required and available regarding the product model, the BOM, the data sheet of the equipment, etc. The applicant also needs to submit the location details of telecom or ICT equipment along with the contact information of the certification. The applicant needs to pay the required fee for the certification scheme, ER, which will be declared after the submission of the application. The applicant can then select the Conformity Assessment Body, also known as the CAB, the first of CABs provided by TEC. The telecom equipment has to be tested in recognized Conformity Assessment Body of an MRA partner country. After product testing in a CAB, the test report needs to be submitted. The applicant has to also submit a summary of the test report and has to then sign the undertaking stating that the test report and the summary of the test report was submitted accurately with no changes made. After submission, the TEC evaluates the test reports with full scrutiny. If the equipment fulfills the needed compliance and is deemed satisfactory, then the TEC certificate is granted. So this was all about the TEC certification. For more information, you can read our blogs on www.cobbiz.io and reach out to our team at the given numbers. For more such content, please subscribe to our channel, Cobbiz.